Oracle Cloud with 4 GB. Okay, I'll just uh, show you the internet first. Okay, so internet is working, and the uh, I will just show you the resources which my this machine is using, like uh, five uh, five GB is for swap file, uh, twenty four GB is for RAM. Hello, welcome friends. Welcome back to my new video. Uh, so this video is for uh, the people who you wanted to know the how to make a VPS account, a VPS of that which I used in my back uh, uh, first video in uh, which uh, I have seen uh, lots of love from your you people have uh, made and like for so many likes and views are there. So many of you people have asked me to how to make that uh, VPS uh, where I use some uh, technique to show you some at, uh, web hap web uh, means android hacking in that so today we will uh, make a account of oracle cloud account so i will show you how to give you a i'll give you a walk through how to make it so this is the link uh, i'll just paste it in description and see you there there are uh, many uh, oracle cloud free trial you can see here so we'll first start, start off with start for free you can click here and then you need to fill the all the details you have but you will i i will tell you first that you will need your credit card debit card details and uh, you need to means uh, you need to use your uh, credit card to pay some uh, amount uh, like uh, one uh, one dollar or something like that so it will be refunded in uh, se uh, uh, maybe seven working days or any uh, any time that uh, depends on your bank so you have to use that and verify your email uh, credit card details and you will be good to go to do this so yeah, then after that logging in you will into uh, you will get the this console of your uh, oracle cloud so here is the instance where you will need to go to for to make your first machine is create a vm instance so no, it is slow no worries I have made it in uh, India West Mumbai region because uh, uh, I just selected it I think it the resources are uh, less so I you can make it uh, you can get it uh, very fast your, your uh, means your uh, machines so sometimes uh, what happens uh, is that uh, the resource free resources are, uh, are not available in that so here is mentioned it here I will just tell you uh, show you once so uh, just a minute why I am showing you this uh, because it says that sometimes uh, it is not available uh, free doses so means for free uh, machines are not available sometimes so its availability of free tier is subject to capacity limits so uh, you can see that that is why I am uh, you can uh, change anything uh, by any region in uh, which you can uh, you think uh, that uh, the resources will be available for you to uh, make a machine so uh, first we will need to go and uh, give a name anything you want and availability domain is al always a uh, uh, selected only one only so you can't just change it because you are, al you are using always free eligible machine so security disables is also there ok then we will use the linux distro which we will need to use ubuntu which i have used in the previous video of mine so you can see just loading you have red hat centos and market pl marketplace of their uh, oracle uh, machines where you can find and buy some uh, your own machines uh, means uh, other uh, operating system that you want to use even windows are there so you can see that and your uh, and you can also your, your upload your custom images by going there so we will use anything like that but we will need to use a arm cpu here which is yeah this one this one is a arm cpu is rc664 so we will select that and click it uh, i have already made it machine my so i'll just uh, go uh, give you a walk, walk through I am not making a machine right now because I have already one so I can't make another one because of uh, free tier so I will just show you how to make it so this one is uh, for OCPU this is ARM, Ampere CPU ARM CPU where, where I have uh, told you 
see you can see uh, it's uh, now it's showing one cpu but you can take it to four maximum limit it and uh, amount of uh, memory is uh, for ram is 24 gb so that's the thing and then you need to uh, download your private key and uh, public key both then uh, you need to specify the uh, ssd of uh, your machine or you want to you want uh, uh, in a free tier there is only 200 gb of ssd is available for for a single machine or uh, or anything if, if you want to uh, uh, segregate it with uh, 50 50 gb or to four four machines with uh, without any ampere machines you can make four machines like that so and uh, and use encryption in uh, f that, that, that's a different thing and just click uh, on create and it will be it will be created so then you will uh, find your ea vm instance here in instance uh, you can just uh, find uh, here uh, how to find your instance machines so you can type it and you will get it you can see uh, ubuntu is my, uh, one of my ubuntu is running here so i cannot show you my uh, ip here which is, uh, no, is showing here but I, yeah, I will just uh, remove it from the video or uh, just hide it from the video so you can see uh, i have a machine here and i will not now i will uh, use it uh, uh, putty to uh, connect it so how you will connect it uh, I am going to show you here again. Yeah, you can uh, copy the uh, public IP which is given in your uh, machine uh, for your machine, and uh, you will just paste it. A uh, port will be 22. Save, and uh, uh, then you will need to go to SSH. That remember that uh, key where uh, we downloaded. So you need to go uh, to auth and credentials and your private key you need to browse that private key so you will see that in there and just click on open just a minute okay yeah so then uh, i'll be uh, just opening it Okay, sorry, I just didn't uh, uh, told you one thing. Uh, just a minute. You need to uh, add your uh, username before your uh, IP address in in the putty. So I forgot to t tell you. So just yes, paste your paste your uh, IP here. But before that, you need to you need to uh, give your username here like ubuntu because user you when you uh, select your ubuntu uh, your uh, ubuntu of uh, distro in your uh, vm machine then you need to give your uh, uh, username ubuntu here and at the rate then your I, uh, ip of the machine then click on ok and it will be connected ok so you can see my machine is connected so i'll just free free hyphen m i am just showing how much the uh, space and uh, ram and uh, machines uh, i have so you can see 24 gb of ram memory here swap space is not there any swap uh, means the swap space is uh, uh, used for uh, uh, extra uh, CP, uh, memory to c consider it uh, like uh, your own uh, uh, ssd's memory is being used for the ram so we will make it around now because uh, i have the commands all uh, here so i'll just uh, uh, make it so wait for this okay so first we need to upgrade it Up update and upgrade it so we will give it a command okay okay so it is upgrading updating and upgrading both at once
I'm just making it a uh, faster so because uh, uh, you can people understand it correctly and uh, make it fast and uh, you the video will, will not be longer to uh, get your <laughs> time wasted if enter item or range you want to select separated by so here you need to uh, do uh, 11 uh, because none of the above service we want to restart it so just uh, click it and 11 and enter ok the first command has been run successful uh, active or not so you will need to free hyphen m is the another command you will need to see so I will just show you so he, here it is saying uh, 5 GB which is free ok so it is not you are not using currently being used because we are just using uh, a terminal here so ok so again uh, our next command is to ex uh, install xrdp to get the rdp of the uh, ubuntu machine here so we will just put it again here and wait for the this to because it will take time to install it so i will just uh, fast forward this video so that you can understand how it is uh, going on ok So friends, it's asking for the keyboard various uh, per uh, country with the uh, keyboard uh, type. So we will just use the English, which is uh, for US. So we will need to see the number we will need to type here. So we will just see it for English. This one you, you can try 32. 32 is the number, which is for the default one. Okay. Okay, the fully select the layout matching keyboard for the machine. Okay, same again. Machine Chiro key command. Okay, the, then select one only. Okay. So friends, friends, I, I forgot to tell you one thing. Uh, you need to create a firewall base rule uh, for RDP. So you need to go to subnet. Click on subnet here in your uh, machine, and it will load and uh, wait for some time. and in the security list where you can see add a security list and in, in below that default security list for your machine so in a create you can create add increase rule for in which we need rdp for rdp you need to select this rdp tcp 3389 is the port which is already stored and, and you need to source cidr is used to be we will use this here is 000, zero, zero means uh, anywhere from the uh, anywhere con uh, connection from anywhere in the world with any IP can connect to this uh, RDP with this machine so we will use it and 
in description uh, give it rdp anything like that if you want and click create add ingress rule i have already created it while testing so i'll just do it and okay so friends as you uh, as you saw that last time uh, we have uh, uh, encountered an error uh, by doing install installing an uh, X rdp and uh, xfce so i have uh, changed the commands some is con some commands in that and uh, got the solution for it so you can see here so another commands are like uh, this one so we needed to uh, add the this protocol in uh, our network protocol so for firewall policies so we will add it here and enter it like that and another one is that as uh, some policy which we need to delete it so we will be deleting it okay so it's already deleted because i have done it already so it's not there then uh, i'll say that uh, you need to some uh, uh, run some optional commands here because if anything happens like uh, uh, even after running all these commands it doesn't work so then you need uh, and uh, just check rdp if it doesn't uh, show anything like this the just a minute so if the this thing doesn't show like uh, this one log into ubuntu if, uh, and uh, uh, rdp doesn't open then you will need to uh, run this command optional commands in the uh, in the uh, putty okay so we will do it and just will but uh, I have uh, done it and it it works for me so I'll just uh, uh, give my password to machine and try to log in it and you can see that I have done it as you can see here we have terminal our terminal so as you can see we have successfully made our own machine with Coracle cloud with 4 GB ok I'll just uh, show you the internet first ok so internet is working and uh, uh, I will just show you the resources which my this machine is using like uh, 5 uh, 5 GB is for swap file, uh, 24 GB is for RAM, and 100 GB uh, is uh, is the uh, it's a SSD. So as you can see, friend, uh, I have done it 100 success, 100 percent successfully. You can watch this video uh, many times and uh, watch it slowly and uh, try to do it uh, again and again. If you, if you don't succeed, uh, you can just comment or uh, comment in the video and uh, I'll try to answer your all your queries here. Thank you friends, goodbye.